Hey folks, welcome to our channel. Hopefully I can earn a like and a subscribe for you folks and maybe a, a nice comment. Today I'm going to be welding in this section of the floor on this uh, 1985 Ford F-150 bull nose cab. Uh, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to get it done. We're not doing a, you know, a fancy restoration on this truck. We are just hoping to get it fixed enough so we can paint it put it on the road and it be safe and hopefully lasts us a long time. You can see just how long it takes to weld one of these sections in. So here I've already got the piece welded vertically. Now I'm just welding this piece in here horizontally and then have to cut the floor in to the far side of that piece I'm welding in now and join the floor to this section. So without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy it. Take the zip cut disc, cut along here and here, clean that up and weld that part in.
here. Alrighty, well that looks pretty darn good. Bit of a gap there to fill, but I think I can do it. Have to go slow though, because she's uh, thin. Very thin, very, very thin. be good.
There'll be little spots like that where it burns through, but that's normal. You know, it's thin, right? I mean, that's how it's gonna be. It's not thick metal like what I'm putting in here. The only thing I do is keep my heat, most of the heat on this piece right here, on the thick piece I just put in. I'll let the heat kind of, let it roll over and melt it. Just do a little zap for the time here. That's getting it. Thin, thin. It'll be strong though when it's done. Then I gotta clean this up. I gotta weld all along here. Once that's all cleaned up, weld in here. Then I gotta put this lip in here for the, ra the rail for the, uh, the, the water and wires, I guess. I think it's for water that's in there, but it could be wrong. Who knows? Continue on. an eye on this nozzle because it will get dirty fast running through this kind of stuff and when that plugs up I don't get any gas coming through there Thin as it is, it's still probably twice as thick as the new ones. Yeah, that'd be good.
Mm-hmm. Might have to put a little piece along here. Yeah, I like it. Getting there. Two more to go. And here, I'll hammer that down a bit. <clears throat> Won't be a big deal. Section is done now. Mm 
Well, we had to cut this short. Heather had a doctor's appointment today, was not aware of. But anyway, I got this section in here. Get out of the get out of light here so you can see that. I welded all that in there. I just have to grind that round a little bit there. Just like that. And then this over here, like this. Before too long, I'm going to fit that door and make sure that door fits and closes, make sure that's not too high. I don't think it will be, but I don't know if it runs up, but I don't think so, because they, they normally ran on an angle, but we put this more flat. I put this more flat. It used to run down on a bit of an angle like this, and I didn't really like that. Everything kind of slid when you went to get in there. It was kind of slippery to get in. I didn't care much for it. I did have a piece of plastic on there, but... Anyway, that section is in. It's welded at the bottom. I did that the other day, but I want to replace this piece here. It's getting thin, so I'll put a new piece in there. Weld it all up tight there. Uh, fix this here, that, that ridge there that the seal, the door seal goes on. And then fix in here, and then add another piece from here back. I'll try to transition that in a little bit. And then up here, that'll get fixed as well. Now, this is going to get ground down. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. We shall try to talk at you uh, another time. Bye-bye, all.